What is up YouTube? Thrift School over here. Uh, we have a few orders to pick and pack. So those are all eBay orders. I'm going to show you guys what those are, what they sold for, what I paid for them. And then we're going to go thrifting. I, I, it's like 9.30 in the morning right now. So thrift stores are opening up anywhere between 9 and 10. So no biggie. Let's pull the orders, uh, hit up a thrift store, find some more stuff to sell, get some listings done. We got a lot of stuff to do. Uh, but first, let's grab these eBay orders and see what I sold. All right, the first order is in this mess over here. I need to organize again. Here we go. Oh, that was easy. Dark Souls 2. It's a steel bookcase sold for $11.69. Uh, it's not in mint condition. You can see a little ding right there, unless... Oh, no, that's his arm. Okay, so maybe it is in really good condition. Uh, let's open it up, see what's inside. Oh, this is not easy to open. There we go. It's the game, the soundtrack, everything's in here. Sold for $11.69, free shipping. Uh, it's heavy because of the steel book, but should still ship via first class mail. Not bad. The next one is on the DVD shelf, way down here. Here it is, a Lace 2. Sold for $35.95. So definitely a good one to look out for. I've already sold Lace 1. I think that one went for like $17, $18, something like that. But this one is a uh, two-disc special. Let's actually check eBay and see how much I sold the first one for. See if uh, they sell for... I think I sold the first one for a good amount of money. But this one obviously sells for a great amount. Almost $36 shipped. And I actually don't remember how much I paid for this Dark Souls 2. I found it in a bin downstairs. So, I don't know, a dollar maybe? Maybe three dollars at the most? But uh, maybe I bought it in a huge box lot for like 25 cents. Honestly, I have no idea. I know this came out of the huge uh, $80 DVD buy that I did at a yard sale near me. So, I mean, this is pennies. This is not... I don't have a lot of money invested into this, but let's take a quick look and see how much I sold the first one for. There it is. Sold it for $13.95 on August 2nd. And uh, yeah, they bought it at 5.09 a.m. for Lace DVD 2010. Not bad. The next thing that sold should be in... Not in there. Ooh, okay, hold on. Where did I put it? Is it in this one? No, those are CDs. Uh oh, oh, it's under here in this little box. I, I think my goal for today is to organize the top of this because this is uh, a pain in the butt to move things around. I'm low on space in here. I sold a remote right here, a Pioneer. This has got to be it. Pioneer CU SD100. And this sold for $10 on a best offer. I originally had it listed at like $15. Then it was 10 or 15% off, and then somebody offered me uh, $10 total, and uh, yeah, I took it. Why not? $10 for a remote for a Pioneer. It's actually pretty heavy. It's still going to go first class, though. Bought this in a huge lot of remotes, so I didn't spend a lot on it, maybe $0.25 cents or so, but still, hey, not a bad sale. I'll take it. All right, the next sale is downstairs, and I think sold a whole bunch of these. So, first one we sold is this r b3 it's a lot of disc jockey cds that one sold and now guys the same person bought all these i'm going to show you the next one is country number one which is all of these so we got that guy we got that one and let's see i know they bought another Ooh, something dehumidifier is making some noise over there all right and then the next one that sold is r b number two which is right here and I think that's it, and all we have left are two rocks and an Irish, which I didn't think this would ever sell. Who knows if it ever does sell? It's just a lot of Irish music. Maybe around St. Patrick's Day, who knows? So this person bought all three of these, which is great, because that'll save on shipping, maybe? I don't know. Um, because I think these are under a pound. Well, we'll see. We'll see how much it actually ends up costing me to ship this via media mail. Uh, this was during a huge buy I did. It wasn't the best buy. It was all CDs, but it was all these, like, disc jockey compilations of CDs. And, uh, well, at least these three sold for a total, I believe, of $76.35. You guys can see the total over here on the screen. I think that's what it is. It's right around there. Almost $80, so... Pretty awesome. They're getting a lot of CDs, so I'm going to package these up, get them shipped off, and that was the last order of the day. All right, so I just packed up all the CDs in this little box right here. It weighs 4 pounds, 10 ounces. It weighs 4 pounds, 10 ounces, so I just did 4 pounds, 11 ounces, just in case. Who knows? Uh, that's the dimensions of the box. I always round up an inch. And here we go. USPS Media Mail Package, $4.83. It's going to Utah. I forgot to mention this, but I went back to Goodwill 
uh, based off of some comments on my video saying I should go back and buy this jersey. Paid four dollars for it. That's what this little tag means. It's Cloud Nine, Twitch, HTC. Uh, what's on the back over here? Just Cloud Nine, and then some uh, I Buy Power, MSI, Lulwiz, and what's over here? HyperX. And uh, yeah, these actually go for good money. I did not know that. This should be in pretty easy thirty dollars. Uh, I'm gonna list it a bit higher because I don't think there's any listed at the moment. I'm not sure. Uh, I think I saw one sell for 50. I saw one sell for 25. I think I'm going to price high and see what happens. It's a size medium. So yeah, pretty freaking cool. Let's go out thrifting. I think I might be wearing a uh, little too much gray today. Got the uh, gray socks with the gray shoes and the gray shorts with the gray stripe and the gray long sleeve shirt. I'm looking gray. Let's get out to the thrift store. Let's go. All right, we are at the thrift store. The place is cash only. I'm sure if you watch my YouTube videos, you know I come here a lot. And uh, it's not so far from the house. It's about a little over a half hour. So it's it's close enough. The next uh, thrift stores are really pretty far. I'm talking about 45 minutes or so. But let's go inside and see what we find. So here we are inside of the thrift store, and I got a bunch of video games right here. Prices are kind of crazy. This is sealed. This Mario. It's not even a game. It's a soundtrack. They want $13. It only sells for about 5 to 6 bucks. Uh, I did end up scanning it into Amazon just to make sure. And I'm looking through all the games here. Nothing really of value. If I skipped over anything that you guys know has value let me know down below but you can see the prices are primarily between three four five dollars um that's usually the average price they just kind of do random prices i was kind of confused with this tony hawk game it looked like it was a pc game but i opened it up and it's ps2 game uh they keep all the games behind the counter so nobody steals them which is great uh, we've got Grand Theft Auto 5, which is going way down in value, especially for the Xbox 360. Found a sealed Madden game. Kind of surprising. This, I think, is Madden 04? Uh, Madden 02? Madden 02, maybe? I'm not 100% sure, but, uh, yeah, I threw it in the pile just in case it's really not worth anything. And I'm just skipping through here. I really, I didn't see much. They have a lot of video games, which is nice. Simpsons Road Rage, I got that confused with Simpsons Hit and Run. Hit and Run is worth some good money, especially for the Xbox, so keep that title in mind. Uh, some Xbox One games, which is a little rarer to see. You see Xbox One, PS4 games at a thrift store, it's kind of exciting, honestly. And, I mean, they just have rows and rows of games. But, you know, a lot of people, I'm sure, have come through here throughout the day and cherry pick and they wait for new games to come out. They push out carts all day loaded with so many different games, so many different books and CDs and DVDs, and I'm sure your local thrift store does as well. So sometimes if you are new or if you just have a lot of time to spare, right, post up in a thrift store for a few hours, right? Hang out, maybe get some uh, listings done on your phone if you have the pictures saved, right? And just wait for them to bring out new carts and new bins and just scan everything, right? Spend a day doing it and I'm sure you'll come away with a whole bunch of stuff. Another sealed title here, but really I walked away with almost no video games, sadly. I think that last Wii wrestling game is worth some money, but uh, I left it. <laughs> I wasn't really paying attention at the end there. Look at the board game section. It is looking empty. This is Monday afternoon. Um, they're closed on Sundays, Saturday, almost the entire store is 50% off. So Mondays are always pretty bare. I try not to come here on a Monday. Look at that $20 for that Star Wars game. Holy moly. Um, and this is kind of why a lot of times you're not going to find a lot, but I did come later in the day. So they were restocking. If you guys watch my channel often, you'll notice this from another video. They wrote new on it. $15. It's been sitting there for quite a while. That is actually 75% off. Maybe I should have grabbed it, but I highly doubt all of the pieces were in there. And it never sold, guys. $15, they're selling games that they wrote in Sharpie on. Uh-uh, not gonna work. But I did find this cool ripstick. These aren't really worth a lot, and they are big, heavy, and expensive to ship. But I just like the colors. It's Miami Dolphins colors. Miami Dolphins are my favorite team. I wanted to get it, but I don't need it. I'm never going to ride it. I did look it up on eBay and there's just really no value in it. I'm hanging out over here by the electronics section. Um, a little looking a little bare, but I'm going to go through my basket real quick and hopefully weed out a lot of the things that aren't worth it. Uh, heading back over to the board games, I found this brand new sealed Trivial Pursuit game, $4.99. 
boxes damage though guys this is selling for about 22 to 25 dollars or so over on amazon in new condition what would you guys do i choose to leave it right it's got this dinged up corner and i do not want to send that in i don't want to risk getting a return um, maybe the person won't care right but maybe they do and you could get a negative mark on your amazon selling account which is something none of us want that's just uh, asking for trouble right you get too many of those and you're not looking very good so I always try to be extra cautious extra careful with the things I send into Amazon when it comes to eBay uh, I'm a little more lenient you'll see a return that I end up getting later in this video and it's kind of a pain in the butt but you guys will see it and uh, you be the judge of it looking through some clothing now I don't really buy and sell clothing I actually sold off almost my entire clothing inventory to another uh, YouTube reseller the valet picker if you guys saw that video uh, a couple videos back and uh, he bought pretty much all of my clothing inventory I still look here and there trying to find some weird rare things maybe some you know a really nice Pendleton or a brand new with tags Patagonia right the things that you just aren't gonna leave no matter what there's totally worth it like that gaming shirt that I could possibly sell for 30 and up pretty fast these things I will end up picking up but I'm done with the bread and butter items I just don't like the space it takes up clothing takes a very very long time to sell near me and you guys are seeing some of these prices in this video $25 for a polo by Ralph Lauren that's crazy right uh, the prices are all over the place you're seeing lots of 12s lots of 10s uh, 10 for Brooks Brothers 10 for Abercrombie and Fitch this one's only three uh, not bad this is a really cool Columbia it's lined it's really nice but it's $13 that's just way too much money for a thrift store and in Connecticut the prices are like this maybe where you are the prices are like this so you have to know which sections of your thrift store are worth it to go to I've kinda stopped clothing because prices have gone through the roof I used to find Patagonia vineyard vines for two three dollars every single time I went out now good luck finding a Patagonia near me under 15 20 dollars it's just not gonna happen sometimes they still slip through the cracks so I do like to look uh, this is what I have so far these awesome um, stencil things you'll see a recap of all of this at the end of the video everything I ended up picking up huge nerf lot here I don't really mess with nerf they're a pain to uh, ship and sell and look it's missing the uh, most of the parts but at three dollars eh, maybe it'd be worth it it's nothing I'm gonna really mess with I actually sold this CS6 recon right here a few years ago when I first started reselling for a hundred and ten dollars this guy only goes for 15 bucks on eBay now so prices fluctuate all the time here I am in line the line is pretty long and we're gonna head out and go to the house all right guys I got to give you all that daily Sophie fix how's it going baby oh she almost tripped me up oh <laughs> Oh my gosh, we're about to go over everything that I picked up, but first, she's got to get some energy out. <gasps> oh, you're ch <laughs> you joking? You okay? She's okay. You're good? Yeah, she's good. Okay, she almost just died. All right, let's go over everything we picked up. So the first things, let me actually close this door. There we go. Okay, the first things are these tracer projectors ten dollars each i tested them both they both work fully it's just a projector and a cord and a light bulb in there and they wanted 10 bucks which is kind of high but guys you see the price right here on the screen these things are selling for about 65 dollars used so i think i'll make about 40 bucks after all is said and done on fees on each of these that's about 80 bucks right there not bad what else do we have this has a very high rank but i grabbed it because why not the ghost of winthrop it was only three dollars you guys see the price on the screen it is going for a good amount of money it's some murder mystery game these could be worth some good money usually the ranks are kind of high though so just takes the right person to buy it no big deal for me what else do we have in here bop it extreme i love buying and selling these they're usually pretty grimy this one's a little grimy it's just a little wash a little wash it needs two dollars and uh, this usually sells for about 30 bucks all right, here we go. We grabbed a brand new sealed copy of Just Dance 2 on the Wii for $4. Uh, actually, that was half off, so it was only $2. Not bad, two bucks for that game. 
and two dollars for this Harry Potter book. I buy these and I try to build lots for them over on Amazon or eBay, wherever I decide to sell them, and I try to make sure I get the entire series before I build a lot. And you could sell it for around $70 or so. Not bad. What else is in here? We got a couple CDs. I could sell CDs over on Amazon. I did scan a bunch of DVDs, and there just wasn't really anything worth it for me over on eBay. Still trying to get ungated, so we'll see what happens soon. This was only a dollar because yellow was half off, and the one underneath two dollars and i'll pop both the prices up on the screen you guys can see that cds are definitely worth good money uh if you pick up the right ones a lot of them aren't even worth picking up for free really uh but these two were definitely worth it and the last thing i believe yeah the last thing i grabbed was just a quick and easy sale say anything three dollars in this game i'm gonna make about three to four dollars after fees on it so it's a really fast seller i figured why not it's free money i'll take it so a very very good trip for just one store uh pit, this is hopefully sells for a lot of money but again the rank is high these ranks are very low very fast sellers on the projectors they'll sell fast and then everything else is gravy hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you did give it a thumbs up comment down below if you have any questions at all subscribe if you haven't already this is thrift school signing out see ya say bye soph say bye Bonus content, guys. Just grabbed this out of the mailbox. It is a return. I'll show you guys this. It's uh, kind of sad, kind of a stupid return. Let me actually pop this open real quick. All right, here it is. It is a movie that I sold, brand new sealed. It's called April in the Extraordinary World. You can see there's a slight crease there and a slight tear there. Uh, that's it. Uh, when I took pictures, I mean, I don't think it had the crease or the tear from the pictures when I looked at them. Yeah, so I don't think it had that crease or the tear. I looked back at my pictures, didn't really show them. Maybe the crease just didn't come across in the pictures, but the tear definitely wasn't there. Uh, I said, you know, it could have happened in shipping. Maybe when he opened the package, he or she, maybe they like grabbed this and, and ripped it a little bit. And I thought he was trying to fish for a uh, partial feet partial return because he said oh this isn't brand new and I'm like oh, yeah it is you know he's like well there's clearly a crease there and a rip I'm like okay yeah that's true you could ship it back for a full refund right and they said well let me think about it and I'll get back to you so I figured that was that well they opened up a return and stated that it's clearly not in new condition so I um reached out to him and said hey if you really actually want to return it i'll get i sold it for i think it was 13 dollars and 50 cents and i said hey i'll refund you four dollars so it's like you paid less than 10 for it i was already the cheapest one on ebay by a dollar so he would have been getting a great deal and he's like no i'm just gonna return it and buy another copy that i know is brand new i said okay maybe uh he's a stickler he or she is a stickler maybe this is like a collection piece I'm not sure. So I'm going to relist it, obviously show the flaws. It's still brand new. Uh, just because it has that little rip up there doesn't mean I'm not going to sell it as brand new. Uh, so I'll relist it up on eBay. Be sure to show that. And uh, I'm going to try and list it for a little bit more to offset my return costs because I had to pay shipping both ways. So I'm out about $5.25 or something like that. Kind of a pain, but whatever. Okay, now the video is actually over, and now we'll say bye to Soph. She has this whole lush green grass yard. She lays right here. She's such a weirdo, and I love her for it.